Hello, progressive family and friends. Welcome to Comfort in the Word with Pastor Glenn Shields. And Happy New Year. Here's a question. How are you doing? How are you doing with the reading program? Are you keeping up? Have you fallen behind? Are you getting frustrated? Well, whatever your situation, I want you to be encouraged. God loves you. It's not about perfection. It's about consistency. We just want you to develop some consistency. So even if we're on day five, even if you are behind, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just come on over to day five and begin reading with us. Because as you read the word of God, you're going to be encouraged. You're going to be helped. But I also want to encourage you to get connected. You got it. You need to get connected, get in a group where you can have some accountability. Amen. I know I have been blessed over these last five days. In fact, today uh, from our Bible reading is taken from Genesis 16 through 18. And so there's a part uh, in the Bible reading that when you finish, it says, talk it over. And all they want you to do and all we want you to do is to give us one thing that you learned from the reading. And what I learned from the reading on today uh, uh, that I, I learned so much, but one point I want to give to you is taken out of Genesis 18. When uh, God told Abraham, I'm getting ready to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's, it's wicked. And Abraham said, listen, God, would you destroy the righteous and the unrighteous together? That's not fair. Suppose I found 50 righteous people. Would you still destroy the city? God said, if you found 50 righteous people, I won't destroy the city. And then Abraham said, okay, well, how about 40? Then he said 30. Then he said 20. He got all the way down to 10. And because God is so gracious, God says, if you find 10, I won't destroy the city. Needless to say, uh, Abraham couldn't find 10 people and God destroyed the city. Now, I want you to hear me carefully. Whenever God's, whatever God says is wicked, it is wicked. Whether you see it or not, whether you understand it or not, if it's, if God says it's wicked, it is wicked. And oftentimes uh, God allows us to experience some things just that we might know for ourselves. But as we mature in him, we should get to a place when God said it, I believe it. And so I pray. That's what I got today uh, from our readings. That's was one thing that stood out for me. And so what I want you to do, because I want to hear from you, I want you to uh, do the reading and from 16 to 18. And maybe you find something in there that spoke to you. I want you to just a couple of sentences. Post that thought. Let me hear what you're thinking and how the Lord is speaking again. God bless. I want you to stay encouraged. I don't want you to quit. I don't want you to give in. I want you to continue to pick up the Bible, continue to follow us. Come meet with us on Sunday at 930 as we're going to be going over all that we have read for the week. And in fact, this Sunday is a special Sunday because we have a biblical archaeologist who is coming to talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. So again, I pray that you come make yourselves available as we grow in God's word together. God bless.